Hello, welcome to the channel and welcome back to another video on this Fiesta today, guys. Yep, the next episode on this car. So on the previous video, <clears throat> we just yeah, picked it up, uh, stripped it down. As you can see, it's all been stripped down. That's the last video. And um, I was talking about the um, the cam belt, uh, the service, the, you know, if you do a cam belt, timing belt, um, other things have to come into it, like the water pump, um, auxiliary belts, um, cam cover gasket. Do you know what I mean? It's not just the actual timing belt itself. Other bits and pieces have to, you, you, you don't have to, but you might as well, whilst you're stripping it down, you might as well just do them. Um, and that is all cost. So I just have to work out, and I'll be honest with you, regardless of cost, really, I'm not happy with just sort of, because of the age. Mileage, it's not quite there. 68,000 miles, it's not quite there. And a lot of you guys were saying that, so yeah, thanks very much for that, appreciate that. But it really does come on the age of the vehicle, 2011, so really, yeah, it's got to be done. And I and I, I feel better once it's done and finished and, and sold that, that it, you know, one, there's going to be no comebacks and two, the owner's going to be happy and it's going to, it's going to you know, continue for many, many more miles um, along. So the car's going to be spot on, guys. So, yeah, so <clears throat> that's where I've kind of, kind of come, up, come up to really is that um, I'm going to, just going to do the lot. But... I have come across another issue, so um, I'll get into that just a second. Uh, but before I do, and before we jump into this video, a massive thumbs up to all you guys, all you support, all the supporters I get, all the comments I'm getting, all the concerned uh, people, um, you know, f f wishing me well. Wish it's just fantastic, guys, and I really do appreciate um, every single one of you. Really, um, you know, <clears throat> I don't make a massive uh, amount of money off this YouTube stuff. I just want to show what I'm doing uh, for you guys and the new owners of the cars, really. That's mainly why I do it. I don't do the YouTube for the, for the, for the YouTube. I didn't start it, the channel because of that. So I really do appreciate all you guys and all the support I'm getting. Um, it's fantastic. Love it. <laughs> it's great. So, yeah, that's enough of that. Let's just jump into it. Let, I'll talk about uh, quickly about what's going to happen with the car. And then, um, yeah, let's do it, guys. Right, yeah, so, as I was just saying, just quickly, before I start jumping into the time lapses and getting this car um, uh, started, I am going to do the whole lot. So, we're talking the timing belt, the cam cover gasket, we're talking um, spark plugs, um, auxiliary belt, water pump, um, yeah, service, oil, oil filter, yeah, the lot. So... Uh, this I have checked actually <coughs> to this this air filter, and this is the one the original one that come with the car. And as you can see, it's a little bit at the bottom there, but it's not major. It's a pretty decent one. So to be honest with you, I'll probably just leave that back in. There's no reason to change that. So at some point, this car has definitely been serviced. So that's good. That's good to know, really, that um, it's not just been, you know, just not just been run into the ground or just just left uh, with original. Um, the actual auxiliary belt is original. I'll be honest. This one here is is the original belt because I can see that it's got not less folds have done it. Um, and I will be doing a little bit of search on that. I'll go to folds. I'll give them the registration details or whatever and see if they've got any sort of record of this car being serviced at all. But I'll be honest with you, I don't hold my breath when it comes to that kind of thing because you're just chasing your towel. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, sometimes it's worth it, sometimes it's not. But, yeah, I will do a little bit of digging. But <clears throat> So I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to change them all, change the belts, change the water pump and all the rest of it. But I have come across another issue that... I will be. I will do it, 
uh, because I don't like to leave this like it. But if I show you, and you can hear it when I start the car, okay? Did you hear that? It's like a screeching, scratching. Well, those of you who know, those of you who know in the know, <clears throat> that is the starter motor. It hasn't actually completely gone because the car starts, obviously. Um, but it's starting to screech and scratch. And that is the starter motor where the, the things pull out and then and that sort of stuff. So, guys, I'm just going to do it. It's just, I might, it's just, I'm doing all this work to it, so I might as well just do it. Um, doing that, those kind of bits and pieces and such stuff, I've kind of uh, made this decision to sort out the original bumper, which I've started to hear. Um, I've started to join it back up and stuff and uh, get it all sorted. Uh, I think it's going to go. I think it's, I think it's, uh, I think it's doable. Um, I've definitely done a little bit worse than this before. Um, and as long as you staple it, both sides, here, all the way around, I've just got to finish it off. Yeah, as long as you staple it, this side and the other side, and then do some sort of hot welding and pushing the plastic into the groove and cup, and then uh, sand it down, and then filler. As long as, you, as long as it's done, you know what I mean? It won't, the staples ain't gonna come apart and stuff like that. It's pretty good. It's a repair. It's, that's what it's built for, really, this, these staples, is to, is to do a repair like this on plastic. So, um, yeah. So because I'm doing the starter motor and all the service and, and the timing on that sort of stuff on the car, I think if I can repair the bumper, and that'll save a few quid, buying a new bumper and have it completely resprayed, um, and it, I can then spend the money <clears throat> on doing the work to the engine, which is the life and soul of the car, really. You know, the engine's got to be bang on, spot on, as best I can, because, yeah, like without the car, without the engine, there is no car. So... <clears throat> that's enough of that um the other thing that we was going to speak, speak about as well was the alloy wheels and i'll just quickly touch on it now and um yeah as you can see they're they're really really bad um all the way around the front ones not the back ones the back ones are, are good but really if you do i'm not going to just do two wheels i'll be honest with you guys if i do this i'm not just doing two because that's ridiculous uh, if you do it, you've got to do the whole four, um, you know. <laughs> so <clears throat> that's kind of the other thing that I'm not sure about. I have spoke to a guy, um, a company, a really nice chap, and uh, you know he's got his he's got his uh, wheel refurbishment company, and he said that um, as long as I give him a shout out on the channel, which I will if if I do it, uh, he will do a set of wheels uh, for 180 quid, uh, and that is not just you know, come around here and, and, and put some tape around the, the wheel and spray them. We're talking alloys off the, the tyre. We're talking um, acid dipped, uh, shot blast, powder coated, um, yeah, and repaired, obviously before powder coat, but obviously repaired as well. We're talking like, yeah, we're talking about complete strip down and a complete redo. So 480 quid, um, I think that's a really good price. And I'm definitely tempted I'll be honest with you. So, but it's got to be the money's got to be in the, in the car and the budget. Do you know what I mean? So, but it just, it's just a shame to sell this car like this. It really would be. So, yeah, I might just push push it out a little bit and uh, and do it, get it done because um, I think this kind of car deserves it. Really nice little titanium model. So there we go. So I'm going to crack on, guys, with this. We're going to start stripping this down there. I'll set you up on the um, old tripod. We'll do a little bit of time lapsing and then we'll, we'll course of the day, we'll see how far we get. So yeah, let's, it's, not a, it's not really gonna be how-to video, it's just gonna be me showing you what I'm doing video. Do you know what I mean? One of those kind of things. Um, you've seen me do the, 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 this timing stuff before um, on other videos. So if you wanna check that out, you can go back and that, I've, I've done a how-to before on a fo focus, same sort of thing, same sort of principle. But for now, I'll set you up and um, yeah. Let's do this.
yeah, so guys, there you go. I've had a little start up. You see me doing bits and pieces. Um, <clears throat> managed to pull the um, starter motor, which is this one here. So now this is out, I can get get on the phone to Euros. And um, yeah, they're, they're going to bring me out <clears throat> all the parts that I need for this car to do all the servicing, uh, all the cam, um, cam belt services, but you know, the whole lot, they're going to bring it all out to me. So I thought well, I need to get the start motor off first and then all to the parts. And then whilst they're, they're bringing out the parts to me within a couple of hours, I should be here. And uh, I can crack on, get on with getting all the rest up, set up. Um, yeah, underneath, get the, get the engine supported, start taking off all the bits and pieces that I need to, to get to that belt. But um, yeah, I'll show you, I'll, I'll show you a bit when, once this casing's off, but um, yeah, mate, this is definitely needed. So, but I'll show you that. I'll show you that belt when it comes off closer. But this, this is, this is, yeah, this was definitely needed to be done. So I'm glad, definitely glad um, that I'm doing this. So, right, uh, what else have I done? Oh, I've pulled the um, oil filter, which again, it looks like, it doesn't look like original. It does look like it's, a, it's, a, it's an aftermarket main uh, filter there. So someone has been doing some services on this car. Definitely, um, and obviously the coolant is pretty decent. In fact, I'm probably gonna reuse it. So, yeah, <clears throat> it's definitely been looked after at some, you know, for its life, so that's good, it's good to know. Um, I've took the cam cover off itself and there was no leaks around the actual edges and nothing, it's, it was pretty decent. There's no oil in the actual chambers there. So, that's, uh, yeah, that's good. It means that obviously the gasket's still holding, but I'm not gonna risk it. Um, for what for what the gaskets are, 10, 15 quid, maybe 20, I don't know. But for what it is, it's not even worth trying to put the original one back. I'm just gonna change it, guys. <coughs> so, yeah, there we go. I've started to do a bit of a, yeah, pull it apart a little bit. So, yeah, I'm gonna order the parts. Um, and like I said, whilst I wait for them parts to turn up, we're going to crack on, I'll set you up, and then we're going to probably take, a, take, a, take out this part here, um, all this, this stuff here. But before I do, I just want to quickly say, if anyone's watching um, and, and you know thinking they're going to do it themselves, uh, a little bit of advice, what I'd probably say is before you take this belt off, that's, put, that's got tension on that pulley there, uh, can you see that? that pulley there, that is the water pump pulley that connects to the water pump. And um, those bolts are a bit of a bit of a pig to get off once you take this belt off. So what I'll suggest is uh, uncrank those bolts before you take this belt off, because in a minute it's holding on, on tension and you're more likely to sort of undo them where it is in a minute. So yeah, a little bit of advice there, uh, just crack those off before you take that pulley off. Right, that's that. Let's uh, let's set you up, order the parts, and let's do this, guys.
right, so <laughs> here we go, a little bit further on. And I just wanted to quickly show you before I moved on um, this belt. Yeah, so as you can see, it's got all these little lines. And that's, uh, yeah, that's not good. <clears throat> it means it's, got, it's on its way out. Definitely the original belt. Um, yeah, definitely the original belt. So that's definitely needs to be changed. So I'm so glad I'm doing it. So there we go. So all I've got to do now is um, pull the spark plugs because it's a lot easier with the spark plugs are out to turn the engine because there's no compression against the engine. So uh, pull, the, pull the spark plugs um, and we'll check those to see if they're all right. Um, if they're bad, then I have got another set that I didn't use before, so I'll use those on this. If not, um, if they're okay, I'll, I'll just put them back. But yeah, so that's the water pump here. So that's, that, that'll be off in a minute down here. Um, and yeah, whilst I was just sort of getting this stripped down, Euros have turned up and dropped me off all the stuff now that I need. Got the new oil. Um, got the starter motor, that's the, um, the, the uh, timing belt kit, it's got a tensioner in it, uh, you've got the water pump, uh, cam cover gasket, uh, sump as well, sump bolt underneath for the, oil, for the oil, I thought I'd just get one, they're only like two quid, so I've got one of them. Uh, pads as well, front brake pads, because the pads are a little bit sort of worn on this car, they're not completely gone, but, you know, I'll... I'll change it anyway. Auxiliary belt as well. So yeah, um, I want the oil filter, sorry. Um, so yeah, so that's more or less the whole kit now that I, I need needed to, to sort of do this. And then uh, I'll put it back together um, and <laughs> do the reverse. But I need to set up the engine now. I need to get it in time. Uh, set it at the top dead center, which is uh, this 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 one here. And that's got to be at its highest point. And uh, there's, there's like a plate that goes on the back of the cams here. So that's got to, that's got to fit in right. That's got to be top dead center, that that, that um, cylinder. Cylinder one, which is this first one. Um, I've got to put a cam uh, sprocket uh, on that as well, so to hold that in place. There's a pin at the back. There's a, there's a there's an actual um, plate that goes in the starter motor uh, flywheel. Uh, to hold the flywheel as well. So all these things are holding it in place before um, I take this belt off, uh, this tension here. Yeah. So I'm gonna set you up guys, I'll crack on, and let's see what we've done today. Let's do this. Right, okay, so we're moving along quite nicely now. So, as you can see, uh, the belt's off. Uh, it's all in, in timed. Uh, I've got a screwdriver here to show me that it's top dead centre. The plates at the back, you can see the back of the cams here. So that's locking it in. Um, you've got a, I've got a pin at the back underneath the, into the engine as well, so that's holding the crank at the bottom. Um, so yeah, so it's all in place. So I managed to get off the, start the old water, uh, water pump, which is here. And to be honest, it ain't, it ain't too bad. It's not that bad. You know, it's not leaking, but you know, you kind of fun rule is when you're doing timing on these, you just uh, do the water pump because it's easier whilst it's all now, it's all in pieces. Um, I did put some marks on these cams as well. You can see I've just put some marks here just for uh, my, my reference and going forward 
um, yeah, the new owner or, or whoever does the, the belt next uh, kind of knows that that's, you know, in line. They should really put marks on these cams. I don't, I don't know why they don't do them. But it's, there's no marks on them at all. Some ca some cars do, some cars don't, some engines do, and uh, yeah, all the rest of it. But that's where we are with that, guys. Uh, as a, as a, when it comes to the actual spark plugs, I told you I'll have a look at them. And as you can see, they're a little bit worn. Um, so uh, I'm not even going to bother, really. I'm just going to change them put some new ones in so <clears throat> yeah there we go can't really get a close up but they're spark plugs at the end of the day and they're, they're, a, bit, they're a bit worn <laughs> so but i've got some i've got some sets kicking around um so i'll just use them and put some new fresh spark plugs in for them so that's it right so now it's kind of the reverse what i'm going to do is i'm going to set this water pump in and um, I'm going to put a little bit of uh, gasket sealer around uh, the new one. Not not too much. I'm just going to smudge it over the the metal. You, can, you get this metal gasket. So I'm just going to smudge a little bit of gasket sealer around this. Not too thick. Um, and then yeah, and then fit the new water pump. And then I'm going to undo the actual um, crank at the bottom. And pull this and pull this belt off um get that changed over so but yeah if i if i do the belt if i do the pump first then that way the pump's in place ready uh, and then pull the belt pull the pump off uh i suppose it don't really matter which way you do it but it's just the way i'm doing it <laughs> so there we go anyway <clears throat> right let's crack on let's just keep going with it and let's um let's see if we can get this back together today I'm not quite sure it's now 12 o'clock you can see on the clock just just gone over 12 o'clock so um let's see what i can get done right let's do this Right, as you can see guys, been a bit busy. So, you saw the water pump being fitted, and then I, I, I've, I've just fitted the uh, the belt as well, with a new tensioner, and that's all in place now. And everything seems to be, hasn't moved whatsoever, so that's good. Um, so all it is case of now is just put it sort of everything back together. But before I do that, and I need to check to make sure that it's still timed and in lined up. So basically what I'm gonna do, is I'm going to take out um, the plate at the back of the cams, take that plate off, take the pin at the back of the engine, take that pin, take that off. There's an actual plate that's holding it where the starter motor is. Um, that needs to come out. And then I need to turn the engine three or four times um, and then try to see if everything goes back into where it was. So if the plate goes back into the right position, if that's top dead center, uh, if my markings on the cams there, if they line up okay, if the pin goes at the back, put it all back together after three or four turns of the engine, and if that's okay, then we're good. But you never know with doing this kind of job. The actual timing and the lining up of the engine is, uh, yeah, it's tricky, it's tricky. But as long as you, yeah, as long as you do a procedure and uh, take your time, 
it's definitely sort of worth doing, um, especially, you know, as you saw the old belt. It was, uh, it was about time, really. It was, it was just coming through. And you can see this is the original belt as well from Ford's, look. So that's definitely the original belt from new. So there we go. That is the timing belt, done. Water pump, done. So I'll set you up guys, I'll get cracking and uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's do my test. And then hopefully if it's okay, I'll start rebuilding it, put it back together. So let's do this.
Okay, so, as you can see, top's all back on. Everything's back together on top. Um, obviously, I haven't started it yet because I haven't done this starter motor. The starter motor is in place. The wiring is causing me a lot of problems. It's just, it just ain't got the room. But to get the, them wires back on the connection, it's just, just unbelievable. So, um, and it's been a really long day, guys. I've done quite a lot today. And I'm going to have to leave it as it is and um, come back to this on another video, another episode. Um, it's just that sometimes you have to, you have to walk away and uh, and and do it another day. So you just sleep on it, um, and then you know come back at, at, at another another day on a fresh morning. Um, and I bet it just takes a few minutes to get that connection back on. But it's taken me absolute hours to try and get it get it on. I'm fiddling around with it, and I just need to just need to step away from it. Um, and yeah, I know when to call it um I call it a day um and this is this is it i've called it <laughs> it's not it's not quite there i wanted to get it sort of really buttoned up and, and done today but um this is as far as i'm going to take it because <laughs> yeah i just need to oh, i just need to call it today guys um we've still got i've, I've done i've drained the oil out you saw that so that's all drained out and uh, the new sump plug is back on so that's in place, that's all tight. Um, so basically, it's not too far off. It's just the starter motor wiring I've got to sort out. I've got to get the uh, oil uh, oil filter back in place, the new one, uh, fill up the oil. And then really, we can start this car. So um, it's just, yeah, it's just beat me today, really, to be honest with you. I've run out of time and I've run out of patience with it because I just need to sort of step away from it and and go, right, let's let's do this another day. Um, let's carry on. <laughs> so, <laughs> there we go. But hopefully you've enjoyed what I've been doing. Um, we are moving along with this one, this project, pretty nicely. And, um, and yeah, so that's going to be the end of today's video, guys. Drop me a comment if you've got anything to say. Don't forget to give the videos a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. Um, I'll get back to everyone that's messaged me. I'll try and get this video out tonight which is Friday night. If not, it'll be Saturday tomorrow, the next day. So, yeah, that's where we are with it. Um, I have got some bits and pieces now for the Abarth, um, the Fiat 500 Abarth. That I've got loads of bits and pieces. As you can see, got a dash, got some lights. Um, I have got a bumper, but it's a second-hand bumper. But we'll get into all that once we get the video going on that. I've got some great news about the oil on this car. So... <laughs> Yeah, incredible, incredible um, find. So, yeah, that's going to be another video. But for today, that's it. Really appreciate all the support, guys. Take it easy. Have a great weekend. And, um, yeah, I'll see you back over at the Resurrect HQ Monday morning where we're going to crack on. And um, this this car should be finished and, and hopefully sold by the end of next week, week after. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's call it there. <laughs> Have a great weekend, guys. Stay safe, and I'll see you guys on Monday.